There, folks, it's me, Dave, from Dave Station VR. Let me make sure my mic's on. It was on, okay. So, uh, this game is called Drone Striker, and it just came out today. It's kind of a uh, arcade shoot 'em up style game, and it's like $8.99 right now in the store. So, uh, I had started playing a little bit of stage one, but I'm gonna start from the beginning, just so you guys can see it all from the top. And, uh, thanks for tuning in if you're out there. Hey, Gabriel, how's it going? Ah uh, yes, the intro cutscene. I remember this one. Listen up. The transport will drop you at the target location. Once we get there. So this is about half the price of Unearthing Mars 2, and you may notice that the uh, character models are not as uh, top tier. <laughs> it's a little silly looking, but it's fine. Things are going sideways. Hey Twix, how's it going? Somehow we're ending up in tunnels. I know we were above the ocean, but uh, there's some direct pathway from the ocean to the tunnels that I'm not aware of. It'd be cool to play on an ocean stage where you're like floating in a mech in the air or something, I don't know. Anyways, we're in a tunnel now, and uh, this is a light gun shooter on rails. That's how it goes. Hey, how's I'm it going, sorry. Geisen? There are no vital signs left from your fellow soldiers. It's just me. Only your left, Chris. I'll guide you towards the mission target. You're currently she walks at the tunnel entrance. You're going to have to get to the other side. Okay. Be careful out there. Time to go, Chris. All right. So um, this is very, very arcadey. You can see like perfect and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so at first I was thinking it was going to be Time Crisis, our, our new Time Crisis in VR, but it's not exactly that. Yeah. No. It's. I mean, that's suitably arcadey though. I do feel like it should be playing on hard because this is just like, I know it's the beginning of the first stage, but it's way too easy. That's one thing that I think arcade style games recently don't really get right. Like, these arcade shoot 'em ups were actually hard. Like, you would die, you would get shot quite a bit uh, on the normal mode, even in the earlier stages. But like, this is pretty simple. You'd have to be terrible at shooting things to get hurt in this part. Oh, this guy. Sorry, Spider-Man, you're gonna have to go. Have to go. That's it. through the tunnel. So this game has aim support, move support, and dual shock 4, which I was kind of surprised by. Um, I wasn't really expecting aim support. That's pretty cool. Um, hey, PSVR Underground, aka God Cannon, the man. How's it going? Oh, power up. Now, I've seen some of the boss fights, and those actually look pretty fun, but I have not made it to one yet. I think this is about as far as I got a chance to play on my lunch break. Only had a few minutes. Hey George, how's it going? Glad you could make it. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, so what we are doing is we're shooting robot spiders. Their parts are falling over all over the place, and we're gonna shoot this guy and shoot his missile and then Yep, there you go, you get the deal. Ah, uh, you can't call me the best of the best. But I appreciate it, but you can't do that. Yeah, so like I was saying, you can play with the aim or the moves or the dual shock 4. I haven't tried dual shock 4, but I've seen people play with the aims and the move. The aim and the moves? You know what I mean. Sorry, it was a long day at work, and I just got off the go, so I'm still kind of decompressing here. What better way to decompress than by shooting a bunch of spidery robots, right? Keep those missiles out of my face. You know I don't play like that. Oh, bap, bap, bap. 
I'm playing with the aim right now. Um, when you play with the move, it's just one move, which I actually kind of like because I feel like games that use just one move controller track really well usually. Um, like, you can say what you want about pixel gear, but that game just uses one move controller and it tracks fucking beautifully. It's one of the best move tracking games, even though the game itself is not for everybody. Ooh, this is cool. I'm liking this. Caves. It's not just a tunnel, it's like a sci-fi cave tunnel. I kind of do feel like I'm like on an It's a Small World ride, though. Like, I'm not walking, I'm just being carted around on some invisible platform. Oh no, I didn't mean to use that bomb! Son of a bitch. Well, I used a bomb on accident. It'll probably be fine. This game is very reassuring, I will say, because almost every time you shoot somebody, it says, PERFECT! Which makes you think you're really good at it. Even if it happens every time you shoot a guy. PERFECT! I do kind of want, like, a really shitty uh, arcade voice to pop in and be like, MEGA KILL! Nice shot! It's the only thing that's missing so far. Oh my god, JD, I would love a Terminator 2. Yeah, no, it's very arcadey. It's a light gun shooter, and you're on rails. Although it doesn't really make sense how I'm on rails, because I'm just, like, floating in the air. But I guess this is one of the abilities that I have as a robot spaceman who's here to shoot all these other robot space creatures. I'm not sure what the deal is. Opening cutscene doesn't give you much to work with, but I don't really need a story in a game like this. I think, in a way, like, I could end up liking this a little better than Unearthing Mars 2. Because even though that had some cool mechanics and cool cutscenes and whatever, like, it was a lot of cutscene. And I think this is just going to be a straight-up arcade game where I shoot people for the entire time. And I don't have to sit in a bar and listen to some guy chit-chat. Oh god, what are those? I haven't seen those before. Alright, it's getting interesting. Get out of my face. Uh, apparently I've been hurt. It looks that I've been hurt. 7 out of 12. There we go. Come on. I guess I could be using my special attacks. Like, I have this bomb. The nuke down here. I've got two of those. I'll save it for a boss. I actually don't mind this environment. It's pretty good looking. Um, you know, it's not super high res or anything, but that's a cool design. I like all the cave slash sci-fi techno stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, give me that! Alright, so I hadn't played this far before, and I thought it was kind of boring, but it's pretty fun actually. I'm having a good time with this so far. Yeah, seriously. No, it's like $9. Like, I don't know. It's supposed to be about an hour and a half, but there's two difficulties. And uh, I could see this being pretty challenging on the hard mode. And you have like a certain number of continues, and you can, you know, lose lives and restart and everything. So that might be a fun arcade experience to do it like, oh shit, do it full on. There's also leaderboards, but it seemed like they weren't working earlier because the PSN network has been having some trouble today. But I assume that's the reason why they're not working right now. Get out of here. Who are these tiny guys? I've never seen these tiny guys before. Good thing I'm such a crack shot. Oh, you can't compare this to Until Dawn. I mean, Until Dawn is, is always going to be the best... Uh, rail shooter that we have on PSVR unless somebody pulls out some crazy shit but like even as a launch title Until Dawn is just so good and it's probably almost as cheap as this is a lot of the time so oh shit the environment's blown up around me nah but I mean I wouldn't put this on the same level of, uh, of Until Dawn but it's fun for nine bucks I mean at launch 
And like if I said wait for a sale, it would end up being like two dollars. So at that price, absolutely. Oh shit, is this a boss? That's a boss. Hello, sir. So do I shoot those or do I not shoot those parts? Can't tell. He's got like shields on those areas. Okay. Get out of here. It does look like a shield to me. I guess you have to blow up the shoots. Okay, I got it. Time for some bombs, right? Let's get a bomb out there. There you go. Enjoy that, sucker. Hey, that's a, that's a pretty fair list. I didn't get to see it too well because I'm in the middle of shooting stuff, but that looked like a decent list. If you put this above Bravo Team, you made the right choice. This is already better than Bravo Team. Although I do have a penchant for these, like, old arcade shoot em ups personally. Hey, how's it going, Danish? Man, quite a turnout. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's good to see all you guys. I've been uh, taking a break for a minute because I was on sort of a mini vacation. More of a staycation, I guess. Just took some time off of work. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Joystick's got the right idea. Wait, did I die? They trapped me? What the fuck? Fine. I didn't even notice that I died. I need to keep an eye on my health from now on. But I took care of that guy pretty well. The only thing is, like, in Time Crisis, you're definitely walking forward or running forward. And in this, I feel like I'm standing on some, like, hoverboard or some invisible platform and I'm just being carried along. Like, uh... <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Like I said, it is kind of like a... It's a small world experience, if you guys have ever been to Disney before. Wait, so there were only two likes even though you already hit like? Jeez, I must be doing something wrong. You guys don't have to hit like. As long as you're hanging out, I appreciate that. Sounds like a lot of my favorite people are in chat hanging out right now. All right, let's move closer to these guys. Oh, 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 oh! They got the bouncy bumps. <laughs> God Cannon means business. God Cannon definitely means business. Clever Trev, hey, what's up? Oh my god. It's a... Hey, Bobby. Thanks, Danish. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what to do, but I figured since it was a horror thing, I was like, the, the bathroom's the scariest room of the house, and if I just make it look spooky, it might be okay. Kind of going for a Blair Witch thing, but I don't know if I pulled it off. God Cannon was also great. Um, Polish Paul totally phoned it in. Not even joking. He didn't appear in the flesh. But uh, he's a great guy. <laughs> but no, everybody had good good uh, intros. And that the static uh, acceptance video was incredible. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there was a PSVR award show on Without Parole's uh, channel, PSVR Without Parole, and uh, everybody did intros, like all these YouTube channels did cool intros uh, for the categories, and uh, the developers showed up to accept a few awards, which is really cool, especially Static. That one was incredible. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about these guys. I don't think I'm going to die again. Unless there's some other more nefarious boss waiting around that corner. Alright guys, you don't have to keep dropping in one by one. Okay, this is a little tedious. That's a little tedious. You know what, Danish? I actually missed it live too, and I was really pissed at myself. Decepticon, how's it going, man?
Yeah, they've got a really good sense of humor, and I like anytime they use the uh, in-game footage from. Uh... Oh shit! Oh shit! Hold on, I can't... I'll talk in a minute. There's guys trying to kill me here. There's men trying to kill me. Oh, what's that? Bomb! I'll take it. Oof! Oof! No, you guys are great. It's it's so cool seeing all these new channels pop up and new people come hang out. You know, like. I don't know. I've been doing this for a long time, and I've never seen such like an upswing in people getting into streaming. Uh, you know, as a result of it, like it's really cool. Oh, get out of here! I'm staying at full life, and you can't do shit about it. It's the Dave Station VR credo. Hey, GT, how's it going, man? We were just talking about the award show, and GT, I gotta say, personally, that bit with the whole uh, wardrobe malfunction, that was so, so perfectly designed. I laughed my ass off. Um, everybody had really good ones, but that was maybe the funniest one to me. I, I really liked that. Oh, also, I should say, oi, geezer. But I didn't put enough uh, scouse on it. Get out of here, you fucking laser robot. Ah, jeez, jeez, see, this is how you this is how you get hurt, and I don't like it. Get out of here, get out of here. I should be using bombs. I should be using bombs. There's too many of these guys. Thanks, Juicy. I was telling them I think the bathroom is the creepiest uh, room in the house, so I filmed it there. Oh, there's stuff for me everywhere. I'll take that. Yeah, there we go. Almost at full health now. Four bombs, wow. I feel like a king. I can accomplish anything. Full life, four bombs, seven missiles. I don't even care if it's two of the same boss I just fought before. Oh jeez, what am I supposed to do when he's so close to me? Oh, don't shoot me like that. Don't shoot me like that. Don't shoot me like that. Fellow Florida boy, Tom Petty. Okay, jeez. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is actually getting kind of fun. I am getting hurt, though, right? The Columbus of VR. Decepticon, I don't know if we want to be the Columbus of anything. I personally am not too interested in being Columbus. But, you know, pioneers. Pioneers are alright. Alright, more bombs. Fuck these guys. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Everyone's dead. Well done, Chris. You have a transport Thanks, device Ava. with you that will take you back to your control room. Go back and rest. Leave the rest to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so was that all of level one, the tunnels? I believe it was, because there's little like mini chapters within each level. And I think I beat the whole first stage. There's three stages total, and I have not seen the second or third one yet. And it looks like I got so many points. Am I number one on the leaderboards yet? Let's find out. If they're working. Hey, they are working. Super Puma, son of a bitch. Okay, Polish Paul is number seven. <laughs> Polish Paul is number seven. I don't know who K-Fly is. Let's see, uh... Ah, oh, you sons of a gun. Wait, Polish Paul got 5 million points on that stage? How the hell did he get 5 mil- 5 million? Do you- Oh, maybe it's like an arcade game where you lose all your points when you die. And you have to start over again. Son of a bitch. Well, that guy got a lot of points. Okay, let's go to stage 2. I'm not worried about all the points. Ooh, the harbor. I like a harbor. Sounds pretty fun. What's the third stage? City. Cool. The tunnel started out pretty boring, but then it got... I kind of liked it. The uh, cave and the technology merging together. That was pretty cool looking. I was not expecting to like the level design as much. Okay, now we're at the harbors. This feels like some old-school arcade it's guy still enemy shit. Territory. 
Please keep going and get rid of the enemy forces. I will. We'll need to establish a base here, That's what I'm here and for. strengthen our it, BMX it is decent. It's like nine dollars right now, so it's hard to really argue with um, you know an hour and a half of arcade shoot 'em up action with multiple difficulty settings and aim support and move support and dual shock four support. And uh, you know, there's nothing getting in the way, it's just shoot this guy, shoot that guy, shoot this guy, shoot that guy. Yeah, there's three levels, but each one has little sections to it, essentially. But yeah, I think total it's about an hour and a half. I will say there are some kind of tedious sections, but then it gets it gets hot, it gets going. You know what, Mr. Jackpot? I would say that for uh, $8.99, it probably is, honestly. I would have a I would have a good time with it. Wait, you bought audio beats because of me? I didn't say to buy audio beats. You better be talking about Beats Fever. Because Audio Beats is not worth buying. I think I told people not to buy Audio Beats. What are you talking about? Beats Fever is incredible. Audio Beats is a piece of garbage. Hot garbage. Oh, I can blow up the boxes. Nice touch. Okay, this is cool. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Yeah, no, Beats Fever is great. Anyone here who has a Hong Kong account or feels comfortable making one and likes rhythm games, should check out Beats Fever. <laughs> hey, what's up, Roy? I've been playing a lot of Firewall with Roy, Roy lately. It's pretty good. Yeah, no, it is pretty good for 10 bucks. I would say yes. The answer is yes, especially if you have an aim controller. It's fun, arcadey action. Don't expect much, but, I mean... It's pretty good for what it is. It's not going to blow your mind. And I would say, you know, there are some positives and negatives compared to a game like Unearthing Mars 2, which is twice as much, but has a lot more polish on it, more enemy variation, I think. Although I could be wrong about that, I'm not sure. Um, and like some pretty, pretty cool boss fights. But it gets so bogged down in like storytelling and campaign stuff that you're like, I don't even care, I just wanted to shoot guys. Like, what is this about? So this one just sticks right to the arcade thing. They don't fuck around with telling a big old story. There's like one second of intro. No, Roy is not Rogue. Uh, Rogue is really good too, though, actually. I've been playing a little bit with Rogue. Nah, Rogue is just Rogue. Okay. Get out of my face. You also. Come on. You can just hold the button indefinitely. Sucker. Oh, 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 ah, 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 so close. Gotta keep an eye out for these boxes. Oh, yeah, no, uh, Roy, we were playing with him the other night. That's Pop Tarts. Yeah. Yeah, if anybody wants to play Firewall with me, um, I'm always looking for partners when I'm trying to get on, so hit me up. I'm, uh, Daquan Wizza. Somebody can type it in the chat for me, because I can't. I'm not going to spell it out for you right now. But if you like Wu-Tang, you'll probably figure out what I meant. All right, so stop shooting me. You need to stop shooting me. Is it time for a mine or something? Because I'm gonna, I'm about to get hurt here, and I don't like it. Eh, maybe I can fend for myself. Who needs a mine? I don't need a bomb. I'm good. Where did you come from, sir? Oh, my God. He's blown up. He's blown up. Okay, so this is getting... Metcat! I don't know, man. I don't know. Chopper, I sent you an invite the other night, too, man. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Bongzilla, it's not a bad idea, man. It's pretty fun. If you're into, like, cheesy arcade shit, which I certainly am, this is, uh... This is really not bad for nine bucks. And I'm liking the aim support. Although I kind of want to try it with the moves, too, because, uh, like I said, I really like games that just use one move controller, because the tracking is on point. So, yeah, Unearthing Mars 2, to be totally honest, um, it's got a, a lot of cool moments, but at the same time, there's so much filler, and so much just, like, let's, let's watch this cutscene. There's one mission in the campaign where the entire mission is a cutscene. The whole thing is a cutscene. And I'm like, I thought this was an arcade shoot-em-up. What the fuck are you guys doing here? 
It's too confused. And it's twice as much money. So, yeah, this is a good one to have. These guys do not want to die. Oh, jeez, what the fuck? Spikes? No, those aren't spikes. Those are saws. Jesus. Who's firing saws at me? Get out! What is this guy? I've never seen this guy. I don't appreciate that. It's like it's dead space all of a sudden or something. And I'm the alien. Okay, I'm liking this more the more that people are shooting projectiles at me, because that keeps it interesting. You gotta keep your guard up. It's not just like waves out of a... Oh, it's definitely a rail shooter for sure. Like you can see, I'm on rails right here. Sometimes it shows me the rails, actually. Wait, did I miss something? <laughs> did he send me a video? No, he didn't send me a video. Did you, I heard some rumblings about you doing some kind of like all nude uh, presentation video or something like that. Is that true? Are those baseless rumors? Is that the video you're talking about? Oh my god, so many boxes to shoot. Okay, you get out of here. You're out of here. Ah, jeez. These missiles coming in hot. Give me that. Nope. Oh god. <laughs> I did miss your dad joke. I'm sorry, Danish. Just a nipple. I mean, that was enough for, uh, what's-her-face? Janet Jackson, right? That was enough for, uh, a, a wardrobe malfunction. I think a nipple counts. Oh my god, these guys gotta get out of here. It's time for a bomb. Yep, blow up. Please blow up. You're a resilient little guy. Hold on one sec, folks. Where's the pause button? Oh, there it is. The pause button is the touchpad. So you don't get any other weapons, George. Uh, you just get slight upgrades for that weapon, which are, like, faster shots, essentially. And uh, you get more HP, and you can get bombs. But that's pretty much it. It's very uh, very straightforward. I wish there was a little bit of variation, because, like, in Time Crisis, you know, you can get grenade launchers, you can get machine guns, you can get whatever, and, like, it changes it up. That's not really happening here. I'm taking a drink. Give me one sec. When will we get the bat nipples? That's a good question, Danish. Once again, thanks you guys for all tuning in. Metcat, why don't you just play with me? Oh jeez. I'm I'm sure, certain that your son doesn't uh he's not old enough to appreciate my uh channel in the, to the full extent, you know what I mean? Oh, jeez. I mean, I guess I was I was watching South Park when I was 13, so maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Just like a lot of cursing and drinking on this channel, though, that's what I'm saying. Stop hopping out of nowhere. It's this weird, like, subliminal satisfaction you get from people telling the you that you're perfect over and over again. Like, every time I kill one of those guys, I'm perfect. Just for one second. Just for one second. Someone's telling me what I need to hear. You did great, Dave. You're, you're awesome. You're worthwhile. You're perfect. That is what they're going for, right? Okay. Get this guy over here. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I would like to someday meet a person who who learned English from South Park. That's awesome. It is actually pretty fun. At first I was thinking it was tedious, but once you get into it, it's a pretty good arcade shooter. It gets kind of hectic. It's got aim support, move support. Uh, it's about an hour and a half long. And it's fun. I mean, honestly, for nine bucks. Like, for nine bucks... This is pretty cool. The enemies are repetitive, uh, but we whatever. It's a fucking arcade game. So, like, just like I said about evasion, man. Um, I don't really mind that evasion is repetitive because it's, it's an arcade game. I do mind that it's forty dollars, which this game does not have an issue with. It's eight ninety nine. Get those saws out of my face. Those flying saucers. Nope, they're still coming. 
you issue a polite request and then these guys just ignore you. They say, no more saws. And it's like, ah, well, I can't really... I'm here to do my job, you're here to do your job. You know, I've got to shoot some saws at you. It is what it is, that's fine. Get out of my face. I feel like there's saws coming. Nope. Bouncy bombs. Yeah, it is pretty hectic, honestly. Um, at, at, like I said at the beginning, it seemed like it was kind of boring. But it's not boring because there's a lot of guys everywhere and they're all shooting stuff at me. And I've learned that I actually can die if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Pretty easily. So that's... Uh, something to keep in mind. Hey, LSP, how's it going? I feel like I've seen you around for- Oh, get those saws out of here! Life? Any more boxes? I feel like there would be another box around here somewhere. Eh, maybe not. Oh, Jesus, the saws again. I actually kind of like these environments. Ooh, everybody's uh, talking about changing their PSN names. I don't know about changing my, my PSN name. Because, like, if I become Dave Station VR, first of all, you know, I, I don't want to just be go around promoting myself all day long. Second of all, I gotta retain some of the mystique, you know? I can't just be everywhere in this Dave Station VR. And uh, third of all, if I if I end up getting rid of my channel at some point, which I'm not planning to do, I guarantee, I'm not trying to get rid of my channel, but if, if it ever happened and I was like, listen guys, I'm having four children, we're having quadruplets, and I can't, you know, I can't do this anymore, it's taken up my whole life, if that were to occur, every, every time I played, I would be Dave Station VR, and people would remind me of my, uh, my failure as a YouTube channel. So what I'm saying is I don't want to have to pay 10 bucks later to change it. Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> yes, that is a good idea. We'll just all race to change our names to PSVR without parole. You know, it wouldn't be bad to change my name to something more like a 15-year-old would come up with. Like, I could be Weed Samurai 420 XXX. And, like, if you guys would support that and you would add me... I actually wouldn't mind doing that. Oh, I see you fuck- Ah, man, I didn't get it. Those hidden boxes. That's like some real arcade shit, when there's a box off over there and you're like, Ah, I didn't see it in time! I need that power up. But I don't need it. I'll be fine. This will be just fine. <laughs> Thanks, Metcat. I appreciate that. Oh, Nervous Fart 69! That is a beautiful fucking screen name. Here's what I'm gonna say. I'll race you for it. Whoever gets it first gets it, right? I reserve the right to steal any good names that are suggested in this chat. Oh, Jesus! I'm not trying to die like that. I never use my bombs. I have fucking five bombs. And I always forget to use them. Oh, jeez. Can they hit this guy in the air? I don't think- Ah, oh, fucking- Ah, oh, my god! Saws everywhere. Hey, Sniffs! Sniffs and RR! I've got- Oh, my god, I've got saws, I've got bombs. Okay, we'll just deal with this guy. We'll just deal with this guy. My life is- is, uh, taking a hit here. That's too long for a screen name, Danish. Way too long for a screen name. All right, we're looking good here. Tell me that was the end of the stage. Hell yes. Do I get full life back? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're still nowhere near Polish Paul's like six million. It is my intellectual property, everything is. Anything that happens on a stream is, is mine. If you tell a good joke, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna say that I came up with it. Just full disclosure.
Yeah, Danish bacon. I I believe that what you should do is even though you're not actually Danish, I think you should transition to being a Danish channel. And so even though you don't know Danish, you should learn it and learn the culture. And uh, then you can really claim your namesake. And it'll be an interesting journey. You could vlog about it. You know? I'm glad to know my opinion holds weight around here. Okay, let's get this guy up in the air. Where's his life bar? Am I just shooting away at him? I do like that I can just hold the button and shoot forever. That's pretty nice. Oh wow, this is actually... <laughs> this really works! Except for some guys seem to require a missile. At first I thought the on-rails thing was kind of, uh... I don't know what I'll say, distracting, unwieldy, like... The whole, like, I'm on a little invisible track and it's pushing me forward like it's a small world. Like, that was kind of lame, but now I've totally forgotten that I ever cared about it. And I'm just shooting everybody. This looks pretty good, honestly. I like these environments. Take my 899. They already did, but... So one thing I didn't really talk about too much is that it behooves you to not just hold the trigger down because every time you let off, you can target guys with the, the missiles. And that is pretty useful. Kind of cuts through it pretty quick. So every time I hold off, I get these little, uh, you know, lock-on symbols. And I can shoot several missiles at a time. Is it good or bad that we're 40 minutes into the stream and I'm just now discussing the mechanics of the game? Also, are we 40 minutes in? I'm not sure. No, I'm striking the drones, Bonzilla. These guys are uh, these guys are all drones, and I'm just the drone striker. It's my job. That's what I signed up for. That's what I interviewed for. But I didn't sign up for this shit. The freeway is destroyed. These fucking robots, man. These drones. All right, you know what? Let's give him a let's give him a bomb. Let's see what that does. Hey, it didn't even kill him. Eh, it softened him up a little bit, I guess. Not getting nearly as many perfects as I used to. It's not doing much for my self-esteem. Okay, that was fine. Can I sh not shoot all the boxes? Only some. Okay, only some boxes are shootable. Parts of this remind me of, there was this old ride at, I think, like, Universal, uh, Earthquake, where, like, you sat there and stuff just blew up around you, and you'd be, like, on a little thing, and it was like, oh, look to the left, it's all falling over and blowing up, and it's kind of like that, like, as you're escorted through the stage, there's just, like, little sort of pre-scripted, uh, explosions or, like, environmental destruction, but it's actually not bad, it's kind of cool. Bam, bam, bam. This is ending up, like, way more fun than I expected. I swear to god, I played the first ten minutes and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to trash this game. And then I've been playing on stream here and I'm actually having a pretty good time. Yeah, I'm playing with aim right now. Uh, I haven't tried with move yet, but I think move would probably be pretty good too. Because, uh, like I was saying, it only uses one move, and most games that use just one move for tracking are really, really precise. And probably less strenuous than holding the aim the whole time, because you're not moving around in the world, so there's no reason to have sticks or anything. You can't turn like you're just on rails. Phone did fall. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. This looks like a boss. Oh, goodness. Hello, sir. You're a big one. You know, I, I was thinking it might actually be better with move. Uh, I'm not... can't say from experience yet, because I haven't done it yet. But... 
You need to get some food, Matt Cat. See, I know all about, all about the sauce now. Like, I'm ready for the sauce. Bomb? Enjoy that. That barely did anything to him. Time Carnage is fun because when you shoot a dinosaur in the face with a revolver and he flies halfway across the stage, there's kind of no other feeling like that in VR. The game itself isn't the best thing in the world, but honestly, like... The ragdoll effects on those fucking dinosaurs, it's just incredible. You can blow up a Triceratops and have him ragdoll out like he weighs nothing, and it's incredible. Sometimes I just gotta commend a game for being so delightfully stupid that I enjoy it. Like, that's what I'm talking about with Time Carnage. Alright, I got you, sucker. You are done. I'm not even gonna die on this stage. Got full health. You don't. I feel like I've reached peak drone striker. Like, I'm getting real good. These guys aren't even touching me anymore. This is the pride before the fall, though. Next stage, I'm sure I'll be killed. Alright, that's bomb business. I'm not gonna deal with those guys. Oh, it blew everybody up! Huh. Well done, Look at that! Thanks, really Ava! I... <laughs> you really are the most elite. I feel like at the beginning she told me I was the only one who was alive still. So it's like, it's one thing to call me the most elite, but I am the only one remaining. But yeah, let's kill all those drones. Can we agree to just kill all the drones? Wait, you've played Firewall, but you haven't played multiplayer yet? Oh, dude, you gotta play multiplayer on Firewall. It's so much fun. People are really welcoming. Like, even if you're anxious about talking to people in VR or if you're like it's my first time and I haven't really played this before everyone's so helpful I've only met one person who sucked uh, while I was playing in Firewall seriously and I've played with a lot of random people so yeah I mean just try it get on there it's a ton of fun Firewall is my most played VR game for sure like oh shit okay this looks cool. The scale of the war is I like this a lot. This is reminding imagine. me of like. Once Pandora's box is opened, it's very hard to close Resident Evil again. 2, we not really. We cannot let the AI control our world. I need you to oh, take point to awesome. attract the enemy's attention. All right. I will attract will their attention as best as I can. I wonder AI if it's going to be the same exact enemies it's I've been seeing the whole time. Chris. It probably will be, which yes. I don't mind so much because it's an arcade game. All right, guys, tell me if somebody shows up. I'm taking a drink. Oh, it's cyberpunk time. Ah, there they are. There are so many kids in Rec Room. There are so many goddamn kids in Rec Room. That is the truth. Does not like kids. Oh, jeez, I just got shot. Later, Mech Cat. Oh, jeez. I didn't catch that one. Those sneaky little ground grenades. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I guess it's still the same enemies, but that's not the end of the world, I suppose. Perfect! Perfect! Oh, my God. Hold on. So, <laughs> that, oh no, that, I almost thought it said Morgan and Morgan. I don't know if anybody else here knows about Morgan and Morgan, if anybody's from Florida. Shit, where's Rich Jadon Jagodonsky? That guy would know what I'm talking about. Oh, 
Perfect. Perfect. I want some sound effects. I want some cool Arcadia sound effects. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. For the people. Oh my god, god cannon. Here you eat. You got your finger on the pulse, man. Jesus. Oh my god, yes it does. So when I'm on three letter high scores, uh, I've never, I'm not a father, but I always like to put dad, because when I was playing games online back in the Wii era, I would always just be playing against some dude whose name was dad, and I thought that was fucking hilarious, because you're like, okay, this guy's playing Mario Kart while his kids are sleeping, and his, his profile name is dad, and I just loved it, so I just, whenever I'm on those arcade games where you get three letters, I'm always dad. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Stay away from me with all that nonsense. It's the perfect three letter name. And it also makes people ask questions. Who is this dad fella? Those saws away from me. I don't appreciate that sort of behavior, and I won't tolerate it. As the elite number one drone striker, Ava told me so. Is that her name, Ava? I think she told me I was the best. But anyways, I don't... Yeah, don't shoot saws at me. Yeah, arcade VR stuff is a ton of fun. Like, this is... You know, it shouldn't be as cool as it is, but it is. God, that makes sense. Yeah, Roy makes sense too. That's your name, so fair enough. House of the Dead! <laughs> I love it. Typing of the Dad. God, I love Typing of the Dead. We're never getting DLC for Mortal Blitz. I guarantee you, we will never see DLC for Mortal Blitz. Oh shit, final boss? Are we talking final boss here? Right, we're, well, I'm already shooting him quite a lot. Oh, shit. He's got those ground bombs. Yeah, there's already too few bees in the world. Although, I guess he's just a robot bee. But still, in general, as a concept, I feel bad about shooting a bee because, like, we should be protecting the bees. They're an integral part of the, uh, the ecosystem. And they've, uh, they've been having some trouble lately, so... Oh, jeez, fuck. Ah, but those bees aren't shooting missiles at me. Fuck this bee. Ah, oh, get out of here. Ah, fuck this guy. All right, forget what I said. I'm going to kill this motherfucker right now. Why are you shooting a laser at me for? Why don't you go pollinate some shit? I guess robots. I mean, robots could pollinate, because it's really just about having it on your body and then moving somewhere else. So, yeah, a robot bee could still pollinate. So what is he doing shooting missiles at me? Oh, hey, Sean, I remember you. Ouch, son of a bitch. This game's not too bad. For nine bucks, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, stop shooting me with lasers. How do I even block against that? I think this guy's basically done now. Yep. Good night, little wasp, little bee. You're gonna have to float off and feel bad about yourself. Oh, it's a wasp. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, fuck wasps. I take back everything I said. If he was a honeybee, I would want to protect him. What is all this Morgan and Morgan business everywhere? Okay, continue. Is that the end of the stage? No, we're still going. I need that, I need that. Alright, where's all the boxes? You know, I haven't played much Dark Eclipse, and from what I did play, I was really bad at it. So, maybe someday, but not tonight. Not tonight. I still need to see if I can pick up uh, Heavy Fire, and uh, I gotta finish Home Sweet Home, too, because that game came out today, and I have not beaten it yet. I'm only 
like an hour and a half into it. And I like what I played, but I kind of got stuck. This game is like never hugely exciting, but there's sort of like a baseline level of enjoyment that I get out of it that I really wouldn't say anything bad about uh, as far as the price point. You know, if it was 30 bucks or something, I would say don't buy it, but for 9 bucks, I'm having a pretty good time with this. Scratching that itch for just shooting things. It's a long day at work. And I feel like on hard mode, it could be actually pretty good. I actually did not get on the Kickstarter for Tokyo Chronos. Uh, I should have done that. I just never trust people to uh, release shit on PSVR when they say they might, you know? Oh, jeez. Alright. Okay, this is getting hairy. This is getting gluey hairy here. Too many saws in my face. Way too many saws. I don't even have time to shoot people. Alright, that's, that's a bomb. We're going bomb. Shit, I have a ton of bombs. I'm not trying to die today. You guys blow up! There it is, there it is. Ah, get out of here. Ah, that son of a bitch. Well, I wasn't planning to do this, but I think I might end up playing the entire game on this one stream. It's only about an hour and a half, and I'm. Three now? I think I'm on stage three already. Oh. Not on my watch. Get out of here. Stragglers. Oh shit, I'm hurt. This isn't looking too good. I do have three lives though, so I'm not too worried about it. You're me with the floor missing. Ah, jeez. Alright, okay, this is, uh, is going to be rough. This game has three levels in total, but each one has a, a number of little chapters in between, and it looks like I'm dead. I have died. I only have one retry left. Is that per game or per, per level? I don't know. Well, getting low on continues here, but I think I'm pretty close to the end. There's three environments that each uh, have a few different locales, like as you go through. I mean, each stage is probably like 20, 30 minutes long, then. I guess about 30 minutes long. And I would assume on hard mode you die a lot more. Which I kind of want to try, because that would feel more like an arcade game. Yeah, that would give me more of the, like, to continue in third quarters. Because I'd be getting my ass kicked. And currently I'm not, as far as I know, not doing too bad. another boss fight. What is that? What is that? Alright, I don't take kindly to wasps throwing a bunch of fucking saws at me. 
and missiles and this sort of thing. It's not great. I don't appreciate that. Do my bombs do anything to this guy? A little bit, yeah. Alright, well I got more bombs. Oh jeez. No, 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 no. Okay. That's a lot of that's a lot of project tiles at once. Not really comfortable with all that. Oh, get out of here. That's for you. Alright, 14 out of 17 as far as life goes. I'm feeling pretty good. Like I his missiles wait before they hit me. They get right up to my face and they're like, are you the guy we're here for? Oh, you are. Okay, I'll blow you up. Oh, ah, sorry, Mr. Wasp. Was that the final boss? It says stage reward. Is that the whole stage? It looks like he kind of just gave up and he's sort of like going away with his tail between his legs. Oh, no, it's not the whole level. All right, just just the stage. It still continues. Oh, shit. All right. I will say is, is it's kind of hard to stream this game without playing the entire thing. <laughs> it's not that long. Although with the leaderboards and the difficulties, I feel like there will probably be some replay value, but not a whole lot. We'll see. But like, I've spent nine bucks on a drink before, and that lasted me 15, 20 minutes. And it tasted fine, but, you know, didn't get to shoot a bunch of robots. Oh my god. say for sure if anybody's still out there because I haven't seen a comment in a while, but thank you guys for watching if you are. And even if you left already, thanks for tuning in. When you did, even though you're not here to hear that. Alright. Daves stick together, right? And I have all these Daves. Got him. Just totally enthralled. <laughs> that's one way. Yeah, that's one way to say it. Okay. Oh, wow. This spider is right in my face. But you're the same spider that I knew and loved from stage one, so. Not much enemy variety. I think they might take a few more hits each time, like as you love to get to level three or whatever. But yeah, maybe there's just more of them. Oh, ah, ah. There we go. There we go. Hey, Silver Winged One. I also had a long day at work, and uh, I'm glad you made it good, man. Thanks for hopping in. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm ready for... Oh, I don't have any bombs! I was, like, so ready to use a bomb on these guys. It's 
tired of shooting all these little uh, armless robots. Who's designing all these armless robots? What are they good for? Just got a cyclops eye. They walk up to you and they get blown up. And like, while it is terrifying to have a bunch of saws flying at you, why the hell is this giant robot firing saw blades? That's not very technological. I feel like these laser beams or like, even missiles are fine, but it's just launching saws at me. Aren't I in a robot suit myself? I guess it's not saw proof. Perfect. Back to being perfect. You know, it's funny, I was complaining at the beginning, not even complaining, but I was just saying it seemed like everything I did was perfect. And I haven't seen many perfects in a while here. So I guess that means it's getting harder. Or I'm getting worse. Oh jeez, oh jeez, that's a lot of shit. Okay, I have no mines. I thought I had a mine or a bomb or something. Nope, pure firepower here. We'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Oh my god. I gotta keep an eye on the ground, too. Oh my god. It's not going well at all. I only have one life left, too. Not sure how far back I have to go if I die. Zoned in. I'm locked in. We got this. No saw is gonna cut me. No missile is gonna blow me up. I've got 5 out of 17 life, but I'm gonna be just fine. Hey Tantrum, I'm, I'm actually having a pretty good time with it. Um, when I played the first 5 or 10 minutes, I wasn't too blown away. But as you go on, it's like, it's a pretty solid... Oh my god, you get to level 50 in Polybius? You're a legend. I've never played that much. I love Polybius, but I never got that far. This game's hard. Shit. Good job, man. No, I bet it was hard. I'm gonna lose. Fuck, I have two life. There's only one continue left. We'll see how this goes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well... Oh, man, I got shot with a laser. Stage failure? I thought I had one life left. Wait, so would I have to start at the very, very beginning of that stage? Oh, no, we're not doing that. That's a decent number of points, then. I'll take it. But yeah, Tantrum, uh, for $8.99 US dollars, I think this is a pretty solid little game. Um, you've got only three levels, but each one has about 30 minutes of gameplay each. And there's normal and hard mode. I just died out on normal mode, so it's still fairly difficult at some point. Um, but, you know, at first it seemed kind of repetitive and eh, whatever. But I started getting into it. And for the price, I think it's a fun little arcade experience. You can use the aim, you can use the move, you can use the DualShock 4. And uh, I am going to wrap it up here because I don't want to <laughs> play that whole same stage again right now. But thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I might stream some more stuff later tonight, but as always, I really appreciate you tuning in, and uh, you're great. I love the community out there, and I will catch you guys later. Have a good rest of your day.